now. Praise the Lord, you can hear me now. Amen. I got a hold of the power, didn't I? Praise God. You know, tonight, God wants us to get a hold of the power. And we're going to do some things tonight that he wants us to do in order to get a hold of the power. Amen. So we're just going to obey the Lord tonight. That's what we want to do. We come in this place. You know, he's the one that's, uh, he's the healer, the deliverer, the savior, the redeemer. Praise God. It's him. And uh, that's why we're here tonight. Praise God. So tonight, we're just going to be led by the Lord. And I mean, just wants to bask in his presence tonight. Amen. I do. I want to be in his presence, don't you? And, and I, I yearn in, in, in my heart to get more and more in his presence. Amen. So the Lord's given me something tonight that he wants us to do. So we certainly going to uh, uh, try to do what he wants us to do. Praise God. We got the word. Uh, we got some things he wants us to do. And so I, I want you to get yourself in a, a praising mode tonight. Praise him. We want to praise God tonight. That's what the message is about tonight, is praising God. And I'm going to tell you right now, from experience, when you start praising God and really get into praising Him, and magnifying and lifting Him up, something's going to happen. He will pour His Spirit out from the throne that will come in this place, Amen. I, I've experienced it before. Uh, sometimes all of a sudden you'll get in praise and worship and it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and God just shows up on the scene in a mighty way. And when he does that, his anointing power is moving in the congregation. And when that happens, praise God, folks, it has needs of our Heavenly Father. He'll deliver those needs. He, I've seen him do it before, many times. I've seen the power of God just come in when you start praising God. But, you know, we got to do something tonight. I tell you what we got to do to start out. we got to get out of the cardinal. Now, we've been in God's house this morning. That's a good thing. But tonight we're in God's house, and what we want to do is get out of the cardinal. We've been out there in the world. We've been eating our fried chicken and green beans. <laughs> Mine was smoked. And it was good, praise God. But... We enjoyed that, and we've been out in the world a little bit now. Now we've come back into God's house, and what we want to do tonight is we want to get in his presence. Amen? Amen. And, and, the, and, the, and, and God's given me a message tonight, and that message is to praise him. And we're going to look in God's word and see what he says about praising him. Why should you praise him? Because he's done so much for us. Man, you, you can't imagine what he's done. The price that he's paid for you and I to be where we at with him today. I mean, he, the ultimate sacrifice, God sent his son and he did it for us. Amen. So tonight, tonight we want to just do what God wants us to do. And uh, so I, I'm excited about just praising him. Uh, uh, in Psalms, David and the psalmist, they may praise him, they may praise him. And we need to praise him because the Bible says in order to give God glory, you praise him. I'm going to read that scripture tonight. I'm going to read some and be in some scriptures tonight. It talks about praising. And, uh, you know, uh, we come up here, you know, and uh, we get the stringed instruments and the, and the pianos and the organs and the praise folks are going, get going out here, you know. Well, I'm going to show you in God's Word tonight, God said to do that. You know, Paul and Silas, they got whooped and on their back with lashes, and they got thrown in jail in the dungeon in the, in the bottom part down there. Their backs was bleeding, all that stuff was going on. You know what they got, Paul and Silas got to doing? They got to praising God. I'm telling you, when you get praising God, your expectations better get ready. Because he's about to do something when he comes on the scene. And you get praising God, the devil's got to flee. Yes. I'm telling you. And I'm going to tell you here tonight, we were created to praise him. Amen. 
And I certainly want to do what I was created to do. I want to praise God because he's worthy to be praised. Ooh. And so before we even start to praise and worship, I want to get you, I want to get your mind. We're going to read some scripture. I want you to get your mind set on praise tonight. I'm going to show you in the scripture where it says to raise holy hands. And there's something about when you raise them holy hands, you submitting to him. Let's everybody practice right now. Get them up there. Who you raised them to? God Almighty. Now tonight I want you to turn loose and I want you to praise him. Don't you worry about your brother or your sister around you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I want you to praise him. I want you to get in a, a sense of praise that right where you at is you and God. And you're praising him and you're loving him and you're worshiping him because he loves you and he's done so much for you. He is worthy to be praised. And we want to submit to him tonight. And we want to praise him. <clears throat> so when we start praising him, I want you to lift holy hands. I want you to praise him. If you get up, walk around, and just start shouting and praising him. That's what we're going to do tonight. That's what God wants us to do tonight, Ronnie. He wants us to praise him and to worship him. And when you start praising, let it come. You just start letting it come. You let it come. If you want to speak in the language he gave you, you do it. If you want to speak in your language, you do it. But you praise him with your mouth. And you praise him with uplifted hand. <clears throat> Our sister's going to start singing. First few songs going to kind of get us warmed up. But we're going to get going. We're going to go until God tells us to do something else. And I know he's already told us, uh, told me uh, some of the other things he wants to do. But uh, we come in his house tonight. We come in here tonight to praise him. I want you to really get focused on it. And I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer here in just a minute. And uh, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures first before Melissa and the praise group start praising God. So we're going to magnify the king tonight. We're going to praise him. I'm excited about that. We don't praise him enough. Now we come in here and praise him. And it tilts the soul for the word to be sown. Amen. But I want to show you in God's word what it says uh, than ca than, th that can happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer and uh, start the service off. Y'all excuse me. I got that Pentecostal croup already. <laughs> Wait, wait just a minute, Johnny. The, the, the rest of the folks can't hear you. Where's the microphone? Okay. I, I, I want you to, now, now uh, uh, the thing about your eyes, what, uh, I want you to tell that again, and I want you to tell what you said about the people. I see your eyes already cleared up. Hey, I, I'm telling you, he burned his eyes welding. His eyes was all red bloodshot this morning, crying. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't see out of one, and I can already see it's clear now. God touched you, didn't he? Yes, he did. Get up on that. Well, I just want to say that, you know, this morning, I mean, last, I'll go back. Last Tuesday night, I called Ronnie up, and I told him that I ain't going to be able to go to church because I think I burnt my eyes. And, you know, when you burn your eyes during the daytime, you're fine. But at nighttime, you just, it, it swells them up, and it just feels like sand that's in there, and you just, you can't see all that. And I was afraid to come down the interstate and then have to drive back home with my eyes hurt. And uh, this morning, I, I came to church, and I actually come to church. I had to cover that one eye up, just in, drove down here in one eye. And, uh, and we called for prayer this morning, and we were just talking about our faith and how much we need it. And, and just use our faith, you know, and 
we got it praying down there, and I was like, you know what, I need, I'm going to go ahead and just get to bed before we leave where I can get my eyes healed. And uh, I went home and took me a good nap and woke up and gone. His eye was healed. This morning he couldn't hardly see. He was weeping, crying. And God, we prayed for him up there, and God touched his eye. I can see. It's amazing. This morning his eye was bloodshot. He looked really rough. And I'm looking at his eyes right now, and they're just as clear as they should be. We give God the glory for that, Johnny. Amen. Now, Johnny, tell about the food for the people in your hearts you've been wanting to feed some folks. something you know if it's a dollar or whatever you can and, and everything and the guy we went hunting I think it was Thursday or Friday night I'm not for sure and uh, we killed a little soap it was about six or seven pounds and wild hog riding a Harley I mean you know you never think he was a preacher or anything and he come running to us and he's like look here's a car we feed 253 people a day and we're meat and meat he said, if you can help me out, I really sure would appreciate it. And I was like, well, you know, and I've been telling Ricky that this has been on my heart before I even came back to church. I mean, it really has. And um, so I, we got down there after she gave her speech, and me and Roy and her prayed on that car that I was able going to be able to give her some, give them some meat, you know. And Monday night, a buddy of mine says he has seven hogs in the trap. And I was like, all right, Brandon. I said, I'm on call this guy up and and if I can get a hold of him we'll take care of it well I couldn't get a hold of him that night and I was like look we'll just wait till tomorrow, the next night because this guy really needs the meat and uh, the next day he called me while I was at work and he says I, my phone was off and I just didn't get your message he said but I, we need it we really need it I said alright so we ended up it ended up we had killed them seven pigs and cleaned them out for him and everything gave them to him and a buddy of mine Josh he cleaned his whole deep freeze out. Well, I mean, we had, he, there was a bunch. He got sausage, pork chops, deer meat, all kind of stuff for him. And they ended up going out there with about 200. It might be more than that. I'm, I, they had two big old totes just as heavy as he can tote them, full of meat. And I, I want to give God the honor and glory for that because, you know, the one thing about me doing this, and I, and I love hog hunting, and, you know, and I want God to bless other people with it. I, w I want him to touch that because that's, that's all my heart right there, Ricky. Y'all, I mean, it, we killed so many. I mean, we killed 98 this year. Hogs. I mean, I, me and my family can't eat all that. You know, or all my buddies, they can't eat all that. I mean, I want to give. I want to help with it. And, and there's a lot of people out there that just, they hungry. You know, they need mm -hmm. the food. They, you know. And so that pastor just come right up and said, would you help us feed 250 people? So your heart's desire, God knew your heart's desire yeah. that you wanted to help people with that uh, meat that he was blessing you with and all of a sudden bang there it Man, was it was there i mean i was you know i got because there's sometimes i mean we go and we don't catch nothing you know but then there's sometimes it's like i told him i said look you know i might call you at two o'clock in the morning and i might got sick on the ground i said and you know i might have to have someone to take care of it right there because you know pork i mean that's something you just can't wait till the next day mm -hmm. to handle right you know praise the lord Praise God. Now, we give God the glory. I, I really, looking at his eyes, y'all that prayed for him, you, you got to see his eyes. This morning he had the red eye. I'm telling you, he had it bad. But I want you to look at him now. Amen. Praise God. And I praise God that, uh, you know, he's been talking to me about uh, feeding uh, the poor people and helping do that and God's touched him and helped him to do that now that's a testimony and what is he doing by testifying doing it he's praising God yes. he's praising God now I want to ask uh, uh, while we're doing this this is the Lord's service tonight not ours uh, anybody else in here got a testimony they want to testify uh, right now God's done something for you this week anybody I know there's some more in here you know that God's touched you, Carrie. Okay? God's done something for you, and you know it, and you're going to give him the praise. Amen? Yeah, it's the first time we've really received it all together. Right, all together. Do I have to say this? No, just talk loud. 
If I start coming at you, it means we're moving somewhere else. <laughs> well, God is good, number one, because he saved my husband. Um, you know, we're, uh, Ian's standing strong on God's word. We both are trying our hardest to do what we can for God. And, you know, um, the other day, I don't remember exactly what it was, but we were somewhere or another, and... <laughs> I was going to tell the lady something, and I don't know if I was going to say a story, lie, or something, and Ian said, Carrie, you need to be truthful, because if you're not, God's not going to honor you, and I just give God all the glory and honor for saving Ian, because I had been wanting it, wanting it, wanting it, and I just, I thank him, because now we are, <laughs> we, there's no curse anymore, because it's me and, me, Ian, and God and Enoch, and before it was so hard going home to Ian and not being able to, you know, explaining to him about church and the things that happen, and then finally when he come in, now he can share the joy with me, and I just give God all the glory and honor for saving Ian and, you know, us being able to get married and, you know, just being a Christian home. Amen. God's answered some of your prayers, hasn't he? I know you've been coming and asking God to touch and move on your family, and God has moved on your family. So we give who the praise? We give God the praise. Amen? We give God the praise. Anybody else got a, a testimony? Anybody? Come on now. We're praising God tonight. That's what it's all about tonight. Anybody? Well, I'm just praising that every day I get up, then I'm, I've got him with me. He's in my heart. You know, I go through these things. We all go through battles every day. Um, he never promised us a rose garden, no way. He didn't go through a rose garden. So why should we? So I just give him praise that I can call on him in the good times and the bad. Amen. And that I know, that I know, that I know that he, he's in my heart. We give God the praise. You know, he said we're going to go through tribulations. But be of good cheer because he said he's overcome the world. And he paid the ultimate price for you and I, so we're praising him tonight. Amen. Now, some of you got something on your heart that God's done for you, and this is like popcorn. You will pop up and do it, and we'll move forward. But God speak to you about something that you want to praise him. I want you to get my attention because we're praising God tonight. That's what the service is. Before uh, we get into uh, some more of this, I want to read a scripture. Brother Roy uh, got into this a little bit Sunday night. Uh, and uh, I want to read, this is starting out what I want to read here, you know. This, I'm looking for God to do this. I, I want you to look at this. I'm in the Second Chronicles. I'm in Second Chronicles 5. I want to read Second Chronicles 5, 13 through 14. And uh, Brother Nathan's fixing to pull that up on the board. I, I want you to look and see what it says here, what God says. Uh, and we, as God's children need to obey his word i'm telling you right now this is this is a part that we need to do because we we're blessed we're blessed now i want everybody in here before we read this how many in here has been healed by almighty god and you know it you know it oh man look at them i think every hand everybody has been healed by god you know he's real and he's done that for you so Tonight, you want, we want to praise him for what he has done for us. Amen. And I want to tell you, I want to read this word right here because I want the glory to fall in here. And I want it because I want to be in his presence. Amen. Uh, I want to be, look here. We're in his presence right now because he said we're two or three together. I'm also, we know he's here tonight, but we're going to praise him and the praise is going to go up to him. I, I want you to look right here in 13. It came to even to pass as the trumpets... Oh, we're going to ask God to get us some trumpets, too. <laughs> Looky here. As the trumpets. Uh, Ronnie, what you smiling about? you got to blow this thing here in a little bit. <laughs> uh, we we got a chauffeur down here, and I'm going to ask my brother Ronnie to come down here and blow that thing in a minute. We're going to praise God. Now, I'm telling you, get your mind and your heart set on uh, focus on what God wants not amen he wants us to praise him look here it came to pass as the trumpets and the singers 
were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. Is that what the word says? Now let's go a little further. And when they lifted up their voice, the trumpets and the cymbals and the what? Instruments and the music. Look at here. And they done what? They praised the Lord saying, for he is good. For his mercy endured forever. And his mercy does endure forever. Praise God. He had mercy on you and I, did he? didn't he? Look at here. <laughs> Let's go a little further. His mercy endureth forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. So the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Is this the house of God? How many want the glory of God to come in this place? Amen. Let's give God, let's give God a hand. We're going to praise Him. Hallelujah. We come in this place to praise Him tonight, to worship Him tonight, to magnify Him, to lift Him up. Oh, I, I like His scripture. It's saying right here, for the glory of the Lord fill the house of God. This is the house of God. We're going to praise Him tonight. His glory is going to come in this place. Amen. That needs to be our desire tonight, to praise Him so much that His glory comes in. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Now, uh, before we get there, I want to go, <coughs> I want to go one other place. I want to go to 1 Timothy 2 8, and I want to show you something. 1 Timothy 2 8. I'm going to read the word, and of course, Nathan probably done got it up there. I know it's in my Bible. 1 Timothy 2 8. Now, he's got it up there. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. What did it say? All right, I want everybody to read this with me. I will that men pray everywhere, lifting up. Without wrath and doubting. Let me tell you what happens when you lift up holy hands. Man, you submit to him. Oh, you saying, God, I humble to you. I, Lord, you're my king. I praise you. I worship you. I, I want to tell you something. I first was, got baptized in the Holy Ghost, and I was going through some stuff, and I was going to this church over at Rowan Jeanette. Went to, it, was called, it was Assembly of God Church over there <coughs> on uh, Grove Road, I think it is. Over there close to the hospital. Yeah. Boy, I didn't got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Man, I didn't know about this raising your hand stuff. I, I, I didn't know about raising your hand. <clears throat> and, and boy, I went over there and I noticed these people raising their hand, you know. And, and man, they got to praising God, Melissa. They got to praising God, boy. And I'm sitting back about middle ways back there, you know. And man, they shouting and praising God. And the power of God's moving in that place. And I said, I praise you, Lord. That's what I did. I, I didn't know. And, and I'm saying, oh, I praise you, Lord, oh, God. And the more I lifted my hand and the power of God fell on me and I started speaking in tongues. And I started praising God and it started coming out like a river. But see what I done? That old pride was saying, I praise you, Lord. But I felt it right there. I felt the power there, Joel, and I felt it, and I said, oh, and I just threw my hands up, and when I did, I submitted to God. I submitted to it, and man, it felt so good, bud. Man, I was praising God. I was worshiping God. Man, I was just, and the power of God was moving through me, and uh, they kind of toned down a little bit and shut up, and I'm still over, oh, 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 I praise you, God. I worship you, God. I didn't care, Johnny. Man, me and God's having a good time. That's what I come there for. Man, there was something happened to me I ain't never experienced before. And, and I was shouting and praising God. Charles was like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's God. That's God. And I'll give you another little thing while we're here. We just read the scripture, lifting holy hands. It's biblical, isn't it? Amen. I'll tell you another one too that uh, 
I didn't know nothing about it. I went to another church and they're having a revival down there, Richard. Boy, I go pouncing in that place. You know, I missed a, got baptized in the Holy Ghost. I didn't know about all this stuff. Went pouncing. All these people went down to the altar to get prayed for, and they were bit, being slain in the spirit. Well, well, what's that? Well, what's happening to them? What's the matter with them? I said, okay, God, I'm going down there. And if you're real, and this is real, okay, God, I got to know, God. So I went down there, and the preacher laid his hand on my head, and boy, I hit the floor, man, and I'm laying down there, and I'm, oh, God, this is great. I love you. Oh, oh heavenly Father, okay, I had enough. I'm going to get up. <clears throat> God said, I ain't through with you yet. Oh, God. I was slain in the spirit. That's biblical. It's in the word. Amen. So see, the more of this we get into God's word, Robert, the more we get in here and the more we can give out and start praising God. Because when we go, we're, going, we're praising him already tonight. When we really get into praising tonight, raising our hand and shouting and hollering, the glory's going to come down. I believe that, that the glory's going to come down. Amen? Amen. Uh, now, now, I want to read another scripture, and, and, and Melissa's going to play just a little bit here in this minute. Oh, I, I got that preaching thing on me now. But look here. Uh, 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 1 Peter 2, 9. Let's go there. 1 Peter 2, 9. Woo! Right on down the line there. It's in here. 1 Peter 2, 9. I know it is. Man, that boy's quick as... <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. Let's look right here. I want y'all to read this with me out loud, y'all. I want you to speak it with your mouth. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, let's raise our hands. We've got to raise our hands on that. Now, he has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Security, yes. <laughs> he done it. He's worthy. Is that what the word says? Praises of him. We should show praises. Is that what the word says? So we want to obey God, don't we? Don't we want to obey God? Okay, I got one more I got to read to you. <laughs> it's in here. I know it is. Uh, I, I want to figure out which one it is. He's a mighty, mighty God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read Psalms 50, 23. <laughs> Psalms 50, 23. The Word of God. Now, who wants to glorify God? Now, how do you glorify God? Huh? How do you glorify God? Y'all read it with me out loud. Whosoever prays, glorify me. Whosoever offer, offereth praise. Are we offering praise to him tonight? Whosoever offereth, offereth praise, glorify me. And to him that offereth, ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Oh, oh, oh. I want it, don't you? You know what I really want on this scripture we just read? Man, I want to praise God. And, and, and when we praise God, we get to glorify God. Now, God's done everything for us. We need to do something for him. We need to do something for him. Amen. Now, I'm going to ask my sister to start playing. We're going to start praying. We're going to be mad. i got some more scripture here. We might get into them. We might not. But I want you to focus tonight on praising God when she starts praying. I, I want you to lift holy hands. And I want you to get serious. If you want to sit where you're at, you can sit. But there's going to be a time I'm going to want you up. Walking around, praising God, worshiping God. 
I want you to get in the mode of praise tonight from your heart. We're going to open up heaven and the glory is going to fall down here on us. Amen. Amen. Let's just praise him a little bit. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Praise Praise Him. Oh God, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, God. We worship you. We magnify you, oh God. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, God. We come in this place. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we praise you. We worship you, God. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from destruction, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I praise you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Praise you, God. Worship you, God. Lord, we come in this house to praise you and to worship you, God. Thank you, Lord, for healing us. Thank you for your mercy, your grace. Thank you, Lord, for saving our soul from hell down nation, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, God. Worship you.
to know the scripture. Let's go, Jesus. My own, yeah. Keep praising him. Keep your mind focused on him. Tonight we're going to praise him. Amen. We are praising him. Now let me ask you this. Before I read this scripture, anybody got a testimony? Anybody? I, I want to praise the Lord for salvation. He's just filled me with his Holy Spirit. And I was just thinking, as you were talking about praising the God, praising God, a lot of times people don't do it because they got pride and they think somebody's going to be watching them. But we have to lose that pride. If Amen, we, sister. If we want the joy of the Lord and we're going to praise him, Preach we got it. He hears us from our heart, and yes. even if we don't raise our hands, but it's an act as yes. unto him to raise our hands yes. and and let him know we're not ashamed, you know, Amen. of him. And I just praise him because Amen. without him, I, I, I couldn't make it. Amen. And I want to thank him for saving some of my family, my brother. And he saved my son on a, yes. in the hospital you, in intensive care when he was out. With a paralyzing drug, that they called it. You know, I, there was times, you know, other people, Rick and other people sent cards and with messages that they had written on there, and I would read that to him. And then one day, I just feel to say this. I hope I'm not out of order to do in. it. But I just want to say every time I would go in that room and he would be out, just out cold, I mean, asleep. But inside, there's a spirit part of us that that's in there and we think that a person don't hear us and uh i believe they can that's my belief because i said lord what what else i've i've kind of preached to him a little bit all of his life that he could understand and i said what else can i do i do not want my child to die and go to hell because he had leukemia he did die but god had a reason in going ahead and taking him i believe but God said, well, when you go in there, I just felt impressed to do this. He said, sing the little song that l the little kids sing into my heart, into my heart, Lord Jesus. And every time I'd go in that room, I would get up to his ear and I would say, Mama's going to sing that little song to you again. And I kept singing that song every time I would go in. And I said, if you don't, if you haven't asked God into your heart, I said, you can. I said, all you got to do is just say, Lord, just forgive me of my sins. And he woke up one day, and he was still under all these, you know, the, the medicine and all. And not, I didn't think he, when I heard what he said, I didn't know if I heard it right or not. He said, I thought he wanted, he was trying to get me to, they had to have him, uh, not chained, but restrained because he would try to get up when he would wake up, and they didn't want him to fall out of the bed and hurt himself. And I thought he was, he raised up. They had already taken the, the, the breathing tube and everything out. And um, he raised up and um, he says, save, Mama. And I thought he was trying to get me to take the restraints loose. And I said, we can't do that. I said, because you'll fall out of the bed. And I said, they would run me out of the hospital if I did something and caused you to get hurt. And he said, no, Mama. He says, save. And I, I started crying. I said, did you say what I thought you said? And the two nurses in there, they said, I said, did he say what I thought he said? And, and they said, yes, that's what it sounded like to me. So when he woke up enough and I asked him, I asked him three different times, three different, different times, I said, son, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you remember telling me that you asked the Lord in your heart? He said, yes, Mama. And then another time when he was more out from other medication, when they were trying to wean him off of it, I asked him again, and he said, he said, yes. And so the third time they had put, well, he was in a room by this time when I was asking him the questions. But anyway, I said, he was more awake, and I said, son, I'm going to ask you one more time, and I want to ask you again. I said, do you remember? And I said, under my breath, God, if he says he don't remember, I'm going to sink from eighth floor to the bottom. I said, I just felt like my heart, I would just <laughs> die if I heard him say no. But he said, yes, Mama, I remember. And he knew what he was saying. So I thank God for that. I've got some other, I've got another son. Uh, he knows, he knows, but he don't live right. 
but I'm praying for him and some more of my family, and I believe God's going to bring them in. I really Amen. do. But we got to, we got to be, uh, you know, let go of our pride and, and give him praise. Amen. Jenny, that's a, a, a powerful testimony. Jenny and Jimmy stood by their son till he went to heaven. But at first, he wasn't ready to go to heaven. But they stood by, and he was saved, and he's in heaven now. Jenny, I'm going to ask you something, and you, if you want to, okay, if you don't. But I'm going to ask if you just sing by yourself a couple of verses of that to the viewing audience here. And then when you sing that verse, ask them, do they want to accept Jesus in their heart? Would you do that? Okay. This is to the viewing audience. We love you so much, and we know that... Uh, God loves you so much. And my sister's testimony, just listen to the song she's going to sing and ask yourself, do I have this Jesus? Or would I like to have this Jesus? Be honest with yourself, please. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And that's all you have to do. I mean, you, I mean it's no, it's, you don't have to have a whole lot of words. All you got to do is say, God, please forgive me. I'm a sinner. Just save me by your grace. And mean it from your heart, and you're saved. Amen. And if you don't know him uh, through the Internet, people out there, you can. It's just as simple as that. It's just asking God to come into your heart and mean Amen. it, and, and you're saved. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you. I pray that uh, folks on, on the Internet, some of you has said that prayer, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And if you said it, mean it from your heart, he will come in your heart. And you'll begin a new life because you're a new creature. We give God the praise for that right now. We pray that you've done this thing. I'm going to ask. i got another sister here. I see the Lord on her. Sister Joy, you got a testimony? I have a couple of testimonies. Uh, I met Deanna for something, and my mother passed away. Uh, my mother lived in New Orleans, and she's on her deathbed. And I called, and uh, my sister said, is there anyone that you want to see for me? So I sang. I never get to sing for my mom. I sang How Great Thou Art, which is her favorite hymn. And my sister said she was humming. She, her eyes were closed. She was just breathing very shallow. And she said she was humming it. I said, well, I said, Mama, can you hear me? She said, yes, I hear you. I said, Mama, do you have God in your heart? Do you believe in Jesus? Oh, yes, I do. She says, I, I know. I see his angels. Hallelujah. I said, well, Mama, they're coming to help you home. Amen. And it was just so wonderful to know that she went to heaven. Amen. A peace and comfort to peace the ones left here. To the ones, the ones here. up there would never come back. That's it's right. there. Can, can I add something else? Uh, uh, the night that he died, it was just a little after 11, and and um, so I went in the next room, and I told my husband, I said, he he's not breathing, he's gone. Well, his aunt had come up from Columbia. She used to work with the hospice, and she was not his nurse, but he had hospice nurse, but she thought she was going to relieve me so I could get some sleep, but I said, no, I'm not going to leave him. But after he died, he had a faint smile on his face, just a faint. And I said, it looks like he's got a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. And she said, yes. She said, when I was working, she said, I pronounced a lot of uh, people dead, even though I'm not doing this. He has a nurse that's coming. But she said, the look on some of their faces, that you know where they were going. Amen. If they weren't right, they had an awful look on their face. But if they were right with God, and then um, as time went by, I kept thinking, God, what did he see? It was on my mind. What did he see that he had that little smile? Did he see, uh, did he see his uh, grandmother and his, um, uh, his aunt and other uh, people that had gone on and his grandfather and all of them? And I said, what did he see? 
Did he see you or angels? And I, I kept praying this every morning, and I was on my way to work, and I know right where I was when I turned a curve, and uh, it was right by a church. And I had not heard this song in a long time, and it was not even on my mind. So I know I didn't make it up. So it's the song of uh, On the Wings of a Snow White Dove, and you all have heard that before. And I said, God, he saw a dove. A big white dove came, and he rode on the wings of that dove into heaven. That's what Amen. he saw. I That's believe it with saw. all my heart. God showed you that. I, really I just had to say that. Amen. Praise God. But, uh, we all going to see something or that's maybe right. not, but I think that's why that little faint smile was on his face. I Amen. think he saw something coming to take him on into heaven. Amen. You know, these are praise testimonies that we're doing tonight, and uh, I, I want to read a scripture here. Uh, but before I do, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to, I, I got something the Lord, y'all be right with you. I, I, I want, the Lord, Lord laid on my heart, when I first got baptized in the Holy Ghost and I was on fire for the Lord and my aunt was dying, and she was up in the hospital, and they called the family in. Called my mother and my dad. It was his sister and the family in and said, she, she's in a coma. She don't know nobody. Uh, she's fixing to die. And I'm sitting out there in the lobby. The doctor calls in the family to tell them that. So I said, God, I got to know. Is she saved? God, don't let her go unless she's saved. God, I got to know. Please let me know, God. I love my aunt. And uh uh, she used to send me to the store when I was a little kid and give me a dime to go buy her a Pepsi. And I saved that money, and, 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 and my mother and dad got me a bike for Christmas. Amen? But I got a mini of Pepsi from my aunt for her. But I, I just thought I'd throw that in. But anyway, I asked God. I said, God, I got to know, Lord, don't let her pass without being saved. And so the family was standing over here with the doctor kind of crowding the door, and I just slipped through the door and went in to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, the hospital room. She was in there by herself, and she was in a coma. Didn't know nothing, couldn't say nothing, didn't know nobody. And I just grabbed a hold of her hand and started praying in tongues. God let me know. And she's in a coma fixing to go out. And she's been in a coma for about two days. Didn't know nobody, wouldn't speak of nothing. And she started saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Then she died. But she went to heaven, and I know it beyond a shadow of that because when I was praying for her, she was in a coma, Jamie, and started saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Charles, did you raise your hand while ago? Oh, you're praising God. God's a mighty God. Betty. My sister was in the hospital. She's been dead six years, but she was in the hospital, and her her body was shutting down, and there was a whole room full of people in there, and I, I wasn't satisfied. I didn't know if she was saved or not. I, I had to know, like you did, before she left, I had to know where she was going. And so um, I would go into her room to pray with her, and they had her uh, a machine up to her, and just her kidneys were shutting down. Everything was shutting down. And I told God, I said, God, I got to know. I got to know if she's saved. Well, her children told me she got saved when she was little. That wasn't good enough for me. I had to know. So I would go in the room to, to pray with her, and a whole bunch of people would come in. And I told God, I said, God, I said, if you'll just empty this room up, if you'll just empty this room up, I'll pray with her. Well, a doctor, a nurse was in there, and one nurse told me, he said, it don't do any good to talk to them now. They can't hear you. <laughs> well, then this other doctor told me, he said, Anything you want to say to her, you say it now because she can still hear you. The hearing is the last thing that goes. So I said, God, please empty this room out. And so everybody started leaving. And I was, I was scared and I was, I was just torn. I'd never led anybody like that. And so I leaned over and I got her by the hand and I said, she hadn't said anything for a week absolutely nothing just laid there and everything was shutting down and I grabbed her by the hand and I started praying and I said if if you've accepted Jesus in your heart would you just open open your eyes because you couldn't move anything up open your eyes and please let me know that you have and so I 
I said the sinner's prayer with her, and I said, now, if you said that, please let me know. She opened her eyes for the first time in two weeks, and she opened her eyes real wide and done like that and closed them. And so then everybody came back in the room, and the, my, my brother-in-law said, how much longer does she have? And he said, well, I'm afraid she passed away a few minutes ago. And that was when I prayed with her. Hallelujah. And so my sister made it to heaven. Amen. These were praise. Uh, uh, now, God's given me another one to tell you about. My grandpa, when I was a young boy, little boy, he died. He was a bootlegger. He was a hard man. Cuss. I mean, I'm just going to tell it like it is. Use God's name in vain like you ain't never heard. He loved his family, though. But he was of the devil because he cussed, bootlegged, done all them things. And he was in the hospital. My grandma was a little fiery Pentecostal lady on fire for the Lord. And I can remember my grandpa telling me when I was a little boy, wash behind them ears and go with you, mammy. Go to church. He knew it was right, although he didn't partake of it. He was on his deathbed, and he was dying, and he started screaming, and his feet was on fire, his legs was on fire, and it was coming up, and he died. Where do you think he went? He went to a place called hell. That's what my spirit believes because of that. But praise God for the testimonies we hear tonight about the one that cried out for Jesus, the eternal salvation, the eternal redeemer. He's the one, praise God. He's the one. Amen. Let me read the scripture. Anybody else got something on your heart? This is praise night. We praise in him. We praise in him. Let's read this scripture right here. Nathan, you ready? 134.2. I got it. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. We're praising Him tonight. Praise God. Oh, oh, it's an honor to be able to pray. See, we're submitting to Him. We're surrendering Him, ain't we, Brother Ronnie? Don't it feel good, brother? Let's go a little bit further right here now. Now let's look at 149.1. I want to look at 149.1 in the book. Oh, that's a good one too. Or 148.1 through 14. Let's do that in first. 148, uh, 148.1 through 14. I want to look at that one. Psalms 148.1 through 14. Let's read and see what God's Word says. Praise you the Lord. Have we been praising Him tonight? Praise you the Lord. From the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all you angels. Praise you him, all you hosts. Praise you him, sun, moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons in all depths, fire and hell, snow, vapors, stormy wind, fulfilling his work, mountains and all the hills, fruit trees and all the cedars, beasts of all the cattle, creeping things, and flying fowl, kings of the earth, and all people, princes, and all judges of the earth. We're all supposed to praise the Lord. Look at here. Both young men and maiden, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. I'm going to ask Ronnie would come down here and blow this trumpet three times. We're going to praise him with the trumpet. Ronnie, <laughs> come on down here. I want you to, I want you to, what did, what did the Bible say to do? Praise him. It said for the sun, the moon, the heavens, the things that God's created, we're to praise him. 
We're created to praise Him. Amen? Come on, my brother Ronnie. Ronnie's going to bro this chauffeur. And when he does, I want us to lift holy hands and praise Him. That's what we're here for tonight. That's what God wants tonight. Amen? This is the chauffeur. Brother Ronnie. Now let's look one other place here in Psalms 149. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praises in the congregation of the saints. We are supposed to praise him. Now I got one other place I want to look at here. I like this one right here. I use this one a lot uh, when uh, uh, we're going to praise the Lord. Richard, you're going to like this one too. Psalms 150. Melissa, you're going to like this one too. Is that a stringed instrument right there? They strings in it. Is that a stringed instrument you're playing right there? Amen. And the percussions and the cymbals and all of those things. Let's see what the word says in Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord, God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for the mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the palsy and the harp. Praise Him with the tr uh, tim tremble and dance. Oh, where's that word dance? Brother Charles dances around here in the Lord a lot. Look here. Praise Him with the what? Praise Him with the stringed instruments and the organ. Praise Him with the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Now, when you're dead, you can't praise the Lord. But the living can praise Him. The living can praise Him. And we want to praise Him because we're going to be with Him one day and do some praises. Now, I'm going to ask uh, I'm going to ask the ushers to come up right now, real quick. Give me an usher. Keep continuing in praise. We got something else God wants us to do tonight. I want everybody to participate in it. Amen. Brother Ronnie. Amen. Now, anybody else got a testimony before I go a little further? Anybody? Charles, you got a microphone, let me. Praise the Lord. I had a brother, he was a year and nine months older than me, and we were real close growing up and kids all the way up our adult life. And we both ended up in prison and 
He was doing a 45-year sentence. He'd been in prison nine years straight before he made parole. And he told me when he got out of prison that he studied every religion there was. And he knew every about every religion. He had a Muhammad, you name it, Eric Kitchener, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, all these different religions he, he knew. Of. And three weeks before he died, he accepted Jesus in his heart. Amen. And he realized that Jesus was the only way to God. And he accepted the Lord three weeks before he died of a massive heart attack. And Brother Rick was talking about the man's feet burning. My mother told me that when my dad was dying, he had a tumor bust on his brain and lung, and she had to go to Connecticut because he had left the family. And up there in the hospital room, he said he was screaming that his feet was on fire. And it's true. A Christian, I believe, will die with a smile on his face. Amen, brother. And if you're lost, it's, it's, it's a whole different place, terrible place. But I thank God to save my brother. It started with my baby sister, how prayer works. She was the only one attending church, and she's way younger than some of my other siblings that are on, done passed away. It was four boys and four girls. I'm the only boy left, and there's three girls left. But every brother and sister I had accepted the Lord as the Lord and Savior. And it started with the prayers of my little sister. And my mother, she's in heaven. And uh, I just, prayer works. And Amen. Give God the praise on that. He's the only way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise, praise God, God, brother. I love you. Praise God, and I appreciate you. You know, Brother Charles got saved in the in the prison, and that's been 24, 25 years ago. And now he goes in institutions and preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ to get salvations and people saved. Amen. Praise God. Got a powerful testimony. Now, I'm going to ask this to the choir. Go ahead and sit down. Melissa, thank you all so much. We're going to continue to praise God here and see what he has. Amen. I'm on. Yes, I'm on. Yes, I am. Praise God. Now. Got, it, I think that's awesome, Betty. Thank you so much. Let's give the choir a hand. Amen. We appreciate them. Amen. Hallelujah. The praise group. Amen. Let's give those boys back there in the in the sound room a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for. Let's give the camera lady a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. A lot of folks uh, uh, in the background at uh, doing the work for the Lord, too, that need to get a little little handshake there. You know, praise God. So we're just going to uh, do what God wants us to do. We continue to praise Him. These testimonies are powerful tonight. And we sing God's Word, what He says about praising. Amen. Uh, uh, it's just so powerful. And uh, we give God the glory. Now, we're going to do one other thing here tonight I think the Lord wants us to do. Uh, at first, I thought He wanted me to get in Matthew 8 and talk about uh, the healing things. But uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, everybody's hand was uplifted a while ago where God had healed you or touched you, so we know he's a healing God, don't we? We know that. And uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, we're just going to uh, do what God wants us to do. And uh, amen. You're going to play, Nathan? Who's got the special night? Do you know? Richard? <laughs> oh, Richard, like in few... Huh? Richard has it? Uh, hey, hey, where'd, he, where'd he go? Well, uh, we'll see. I think he done put up his guitar. He has to use mine. Uh, if, if we're going to have a special, we'll see. We may and may not. We'll give him a rain check. We'll turn him loose Wednesday night. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, uh, you know, God's a mighty God. And don't it feel good just to pray? Uh, Jamie, has Richard got special tonight? Huh? We'll tell him, come on out here. He can use my guitar. If he doesn't put his up or whatever, we'll let him sing, amen. Because we've given God praise. But we've got one other thing we're going to do here uh, before we dismiss tonight. we still got some time, amen. we still got time, amen. You know, God's mighty, and I heard some awesome testimonies tonight. And uh, all those testimonies that we heard, the greatest testimony you have is your testimony, how God brought you out from a road of destruction. That is a powerful testimony to the world out there. And so when you're in the workplace and doing those things out there 
and people realize, uh, hey, share your faith with them. Let them know what God has done. What God has done for you and us is supernatural. It's miraculous. Man can't change a heart. Only God can. Only God can. Amen? Huh? Oh, okay. He said, go ahead. Tell him he's got to have a rain check, though. Tell him it will be uh, Wednesday night. Amen? Now, we got to, I, I want to read another scripture here in just a minute, but before I do, I'm just praying to God, and we're going to have a little, uh, and I want everybody to participate in this. I want everybody to participate in it. And what it's going to be, now God's told us to praise Him and to worship Him and to magnify Him. Amen? We've been doing that. But we're going to do one other thing here tonight I think the Lord wants us to do. We're going to have a, a car wash. How many has ever been in a prayer wash? Some of us ain't been in a prayer wash in a while. Sometimes we got to get cleaned up, ain't we? Amen. So I want Brother Charles to come up here if he would. And uh, Nathan, what are you smiling and laughing about back there? Come on up here, brother. Uh, I, I'm, I'm railroading volunteers. I believe that's what they call that. Amen. Now, me and Charles and Brother Nathan's going to be right here. Paula, I want you to be right here. Melissa, I want you to be right here. We're getting the car wash ready, amen. And I'm going to ask the, my wife to get right here in the middle of them. Now, amen. Now, this is what we're going to do, y'all. You know how we greet uh, our loved ones when they join the church and everything, come by and do all that? What we're going to do, I want everybody in here to go around here and I want you to start right here. And they're going to start. I want you to walk through this prayer wash. And you got a need or whatever. These folks are going to be praying for you. I want you to just come right on through and then go right on through. But I want you to come through this prayer wash. Amen. And when y'all get all through, these folks here is going to come through. These folks going to come through. And then we're going to go through. Amen. Yes, Nathan. Uh, and the Lord says, bring up the elders and anoint in oil and do those things. And so we're going to do what God wants us to do. We're going to obey God's word in James. It says anoint with oil. Amen. And, uh, oh, yeah, Charles, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. 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 Amen. And uh, so we're just going to obey the Lord. And, uh, and, and, and uh, Ronnie, I want you to put that number four on, please, sir. Amen. The song's fixing to play. The glory of the Lord. We want the glory of the Lord to come on down. Amen. Amen. Now this song, it's going to start playing. When it starts playing, let it play. I'm going to raise my hand. I want you to just all line up. Come around here. Ronnie can start right here. The line starts right over here. All you folks, everybody, I want you to get up, come over there. Just come right through the prayer wash. We've got to clean up. We've got to get some prayer. We got to get some healing delivered. We got to get some things that God, uh, uh, He wants to touch us tonight. We've been praising Him, and I'll tell you right now, when you praise God, He pours out His blessings upon the people. Amen. He does, Joy. I know He does. Amen. Let's hear it, Ronnie.
ready to go this week. Amen. We did what God wanted tonight. He wanted us to praise him. Now I want us to say one more prayer. Our pastor, and they're coming home, be coming home. Let's pray for our pastor and uh, our senior pastors, Brother Roy and Sister Jeanette. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift Roy and Jeanette up to you. God, keep them safe. God, let them enjoy their self like never before. God, oh Lord, let them have just a restful time. Re let them rest, God. The way you took the disciples, God, out and told them to rest, God, and you rested, God, after ministering so long and doing the work, God. Let them rest, Lord. Just speak peace and joy upon their hearts right now, God. And, Lord, meet ever. Uh, Lord, you said you, uh, you would give them their heart's desire. Give them their heart's desire, God, in Jesus' name, God. And bless their health, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless their finances. Bless their spiritual walk with you like never before. And, Lord, just bless them with abundance of the gifts of the Spirit like they can't even imagine, God, as they lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed through the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for every prayer in here tonight. Thank you for every, uh, uh, Lord, uh, thing that happened in this place tonight, God. Thank you for falling in this place, God. In the name of Jesus, your glory fell in here tonight, God. We feel your presence, God. We thank you for what you've done. Go with each and every one in here tonight, God. Let us have a blessed week, God. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. God bless you.